Hi, I'm Alan from West West Side Music, and this is From Where We Sit. Indeed. <laughs> I'm this Jamal. is Jamal Rue, <laughs> our counterpart. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a long one. We'll try not to get What's too winded here. This is about backups. Back your, back your stuff back up. Stuff. And you know, St Steve Albini has something that he said, talks about. You know, he records almost everything di uh, analog. Mm -hmm. And the greatest reason that he says is that you'll always be able to pull it up and be able to play it again. Right. Yeah. That you know, I mean, is you can, fifty years from now there will still be a two inch machine somewhere that will be able to play a two inch machine, a two inch tape. Right. Whereas we've got our AIT backups, we have our DDS backups, we have our D DLT backups from years ago from digital stuff that they're getting harder and harder to retrieve data. And from. optical data disks. Optical that was a big data thing for disks. A long time. Yep. So um but I want to talk about that you, you should have two copies at least of everything you do. I mean, while you're working, you should anyway, before you even while send working, it to anyone. Yep, yep, make sure you back up. I can't tell you how many times people say, my laptop died, can you send us, can you send us new copies? I love of after a record when I got a thumb drive and they're like, can you send the thumb drive as the only copy of the record? That's happened to me more than once. Oh my God, yeah. It's like really, if you just uploaded it Anywhere, Anywhere, at any time, you'd have yeah, a backup. I know. And, you mailed me a thumb drive with the only copy of your album. I love right, it. Right, well, that's trust. Th I feel trust. There's, it's got to be in two. It, and also, it's got to be in two different places. Like you know, we try to have our main ones that we're working with here, and then I take the alternate versions home, the, right. the backups, the, the safety backups home, so that they're in two locations. But something that I think is also interesting is that from a multi-track standpoint, that people should be or could be flattening their individual files right that you know because <laughs> again you, you know you pull up a multi-track in a pro tools or a you know um Logic digital, or whatever, digital performer any Reaper, one of these programs yeah. you're pulling it up five years later your old versions aren't working your plugins aren't working yeah. a big part of your mix isn't working yeah so what would be really great and i i'm pretty sure i'm not i'm not sure that um, Pro Tools does this, but these these programs have to be able to let you export individual files with all that plugins. I know we did something recently where we just took, you know, a, a mix that was up on on our analog board in the mixing room, where we just bust each channel to a new Pro Tools channel, right. so that all of that analog was stored into that into yeah. a Pro Tools session. But even so, if you have your Pro Tools session up and you've got your snare drum and you've got three or four different plugins on it, flatten them. Take that track and print and it back, print it back to yeah. another track. So if you have if you have and I'm I'm wishing they only had twenty four tracks, but I know they have seventy tracks. Mm -hmm. But if you did you know, tracks one through twenty four and you rebust them or whatever right. to another set of tracks with all of those plugins and that fader automation. Right. Now you've got these backup tracks that are all, that are the music that without, are the, the music plugins without an eye lock you lost. Right. Without a laptop that doesn't right. work anymore. Right. Without right. your roommate that spilled something right. on your right. iPad right. that you had all your hot demos in. And if you actually did stems like we asked you to do, that would be helpful too. Yeah. But just a little note for backing up two copies you know two different locations if you can ha have high resolution backups don't just depend upon what you're releasing now stems printed stems printed flattened versions flattened versions westwestsidemusic.com from where we sit social media there. thanks <laughs>